In this tutorial, you'll learn how to save time and streamline your editing process with the new face indexing feature that is exclusive to Video Studio Ultimate 2022. The face indexing feature analyzes video using facial recognition to automatically identify and extract footage for each person in your video. This helps you save time since you don't have to manually search through hours of video content to select scenes with specific people. Face indexing will do that for you quickly and easily. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. In the library, click the Media button. Upload the media that contains people you want to index if you haven't already by right-clicking and selecting Insert Media Files. Then right-click a video clip that contains people and choose Face Indexing. From here it will begin scanning faces in the clip. Once it's finished analyzing, the faces detected will be displayed. In most cases, each person's face displays more than once, representing different segments where the face appears. Select all the face thumbnails that you want to include in the trim results and click OK. It will begin analyzing the clip again. Now, thumbnails of each of the detected faces will appear at the top of the library and thumbnails of each of the trim marked segments appear below. So if we click on one of the thumbnails, you'll see the time codes of where those faces appear in the clip, with the in and out markers already set. So you can just drag that portion of the clip to the timeline to edit it or use it in your video. If multiple versions of the same face have been found, you can merge them together by selecting all of the same face, right-click on one of the faces, and select Merge. If you want to rename the faces, right-click a face thumbnail, choose Rename, and type a new name, or simply double-click on the name and type in your new name. In this example, I have selected four different faces that I want to use in my video. If I select the James thumbnail, it filters the trimmed results to show only the segments where James's face appears. You can double-click the thumbnail for the trimmed segment to preview or edit it in the single clip trim window. I also want to mention that this feature is non-destructive, so any edits you make to the trim marked segments resulting from the face indexing analysis don't affect the original clip you started with. When you're finished editing or previewing the segment, click OK. To use the segment in a project, drag the thumbnail from the library to the timeline. As you are editing your video, you may wish to go back to the face index to use more footage. You can access all face indexing sets by clicking on the media button in the library panel. Then in the gallery list, click face indexing sets. All of the thumbnails for your previously indexed faces will be displayed in the library panel. This is especially useful if you want to use face indexing on multiple video clips. Under face indexing sets, you can click a file name to display the faces associated with that clip. If you have uploaded multiple clips and the same faces appear in different clips, you can merge them together again. Simply click on Face Indexing Sets to view all faces from all clips. Then, as we did previously, select the faces you want to merge. Right-click and select Merge. Now, when we select the face, it will filter the trimmed results to show segments where that face appears in all of the clips we have uploaded. The face indexing feature in Video Studio Ultimate is a great way to save time while editing your projects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.